So good morning, everyone. Um, so today we'll be needing our yoga mats and a set of hand weights. Um, the yoga, uh, the power series today is going to be in the prone position, so lying on our belly. Um, we'll start with our warm up. So I want you to go ahead and sit up nice and tall. You're going to scooch forward towards the ends of the seat. Um, we're going to start with some taking some breaths in. So we're going to reach our arms up to the top as we inhale, pausing at the top, and then exhaling as we come down. And we'll do five here. That's one. Two. Three, four, and five. And next we'll do our um, neck range of motion. So we'll alternate in between looking up at the ceiling and looking down at the ground. Um, we're gonna um, alternate until we get to 10. So as we look up is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we'll look over our right shoulder um, five times from that neutral position and then over our left shoulder. So turning and back one, two, three, four, five, and opposite. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we'll do um, our shoulder circles. So we're gonna shrug up and roll behind, squeezing our shoulder blades. We'll do five in that backwards position and then five forwards. One, two, three, four, five, and then forward. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Uh, next, we're going to do some seated cat cows. So we're going to round our spine into that C position, and then we're going to sit up nice and tall, squeezing in between the shoulder blades, getting that nice stretch in the front of our chest. And we'll do five total here. So we're coming down and sitting up tall. That's one. And down. Two, down, three, down, four, down, five. Good. Um, next, we're going to do our power ups. So with this one, we're going to bring our hands down to our lap, bringing our, our chest down to our lap as well, pushing big and fast, opening up wide at the top. And we'll do five here. Coming down, power up, one, and down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five. Good. And next we're gonna do our power rock. So we're gonna bring our weight heavy down to one side. You'll kick out the leg and then twisting up towards the ceiling, coming back in, switching sides. And we'll do 10 total here. Out and in one, out, two, out, three, out. Four, out, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, 
seven out. Eight out. Nine. And 10. Okay. Um, next, opening up our chest, we're going to start with our arms facing towards us and then pulling out and coming back in. And we'll do 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, next, we're going to do our flutter wrist. So we'll alternate and call 10 here. We're going to start with our arms out extended in front of us. One hand is going to point up towards the ceiling. One hand will po point down towards the floor. And we're going to alternate till we get to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Um, next, we're going to do our power step. So we're gonna bring our leg out wide, stomp it to the ground, and then bring it back in. So we'll do five on one side and then we'll switch and do five to the other. So coming out, one, out, two, out, three, out, four, out, Five and opposite side out one out two out three out four and five good uh, next we're going to alternate in between bringing our heels up from the ground and then our toes up from the ground and we'll alternate till we get to 10 on this one as well. So we bring our heels up. That's one, toes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last one that we'll do um, in the seated position, we'll do some um, chair jumping jacks. So we're gonna bring both arms out wide, the legs come out wide, and then both arms and legs come back in. And, and we'll do 10 total here. So jumping out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good. All right. So we have two different circuits of exercises today. Um, they're going to consist of three different exercises and we'll re repeat um, twice. So we'll go through each series twice. Um, the first one that we're going to do in a standing position are going to be uh, chair burpees. So we'll go through and break down what that will look like. Um, then we're going to do some seated taps with a uh, arm swing. And then last, we're going to either do on the floor, a modified power twist, or um, we can do this standing as well. Okay. So we'll go over that first one, our chair burpees with our chair. We are... We're going to bring our hands so that they're right underneath our shoulders. Again, remember, we don't want to be in this position because that makes the chair slide. So right underneath my shoulders, I'm going to step one foot back, other foot back, one foot in, other in, stand up tall, and then um, I can bring my arms up overhead. Okay, so we go out, out, in, in and up, okay? Our next one in our seated position, we can grab our hand weights for this one. 
We're gonna sit up nice and tall and we're gonna do some arm swings with the weights. Um, the opposite leg is gonna tap down with the heel onto the ground. So as I come up, I tap and opposite. And then the last one, we can get onto the ground into a half kneeling position. So one leg is up, one leg is down, and we're gonna do a modified power twist. Um, so this is gonna work a little bit on the balance as well as our um, rotation, so our mobility through our spine. If this feels too challenging to have that leg directly in front, you can bring it out towards the side a little and it will give us a wider base of support. And we're gonna come down at an angle, up, so. And we'll do all on one side and then we'll switch to the other side. If we're doing this in a modified position, I can use the chair. So same thing, I can have one leg in the front, one leg in the back, and I twist. Okay. So we'll get the timer started. We'll start here in about 10 seconds with those chair burpees. start. So hands to the chair, step out, step out, step in, step in, stand up, arms up, and then again. Good. And we're halfway there. Last 10 seconds. All right. And sitting down, do our arm swings with our opposite heel taps to the ground. So working on our coordination, also working on our core. We have about 10 seconds and we'll take off. Good. And tapping out. And that trunk extended. Halfway there. And last 10 seconds. All right. And we can either do that modified position with the chair, or we're twisting up, or join me on the ground. We take off in about 15 seconds. Okay. 
And we're twisting down and twisting up. Good, halfway there. And last 10 seconds. Good. All right. And that's the first circuit. So for the second circuit, when we do that one, we'll just twist in the opposite direction. And in about 30 seconds, we'll start from the top with those chair burpees. Sardin. And more than halfway there. And less than seconds. All right. And arm swings with heel tap caps. We're taking off in about 10 seconds. And tap and up. Good, more than halfway there. And then last 10 seconds. All right. And then switching either to that modified version with the chair or getting down to the ground. I don't have my back to you guys. In about 10 seconds, we take off.
happen the foot of the leg that's in front of me. And then twisting above. About 30 seconds left. And last 15. Good. You guys can go ahead and take a drink and we'll get started into the, the next set of exercises. Oops. All right. So for the next set, in the standing position, so similar to the first one, we're gonna have three exercises, a minute to spend in each. The first one, I'm going to work on balance. So we have the chair there to help us if needed. I want you to pick a point in front, tap out with your toe, and then back in, and to the side, and back in, and backwards, and in. So we'll tap to that 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock position. And then um, when we get to the second round, we'll switch sides. So forward tap, side tap, backward tap. I can use the chair as much as needed. Uh, the next exercise, we're gonna sit down. Uh, we'll do four jabs and then we'll do four crunches. So we'll alternate from this position, one, two, three, four, and then holding it close to our body. We're gonna twist to our knee, two, three, four. So we'll alternate in between those two moves. And then our next one, we're gonna do a hinge um, high and low row. So with this one, I'm gonna stand up in a bent position. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping my back in a flat position. I'm not limiting it round into that position there. I want to keep all those postural muscles engaged. So I start and pull like a lawnmower position. My palms facing towards my, my foot and I pull up. And then I'm going to turn my palm facing down and pull up high. So we'll alternate between those. So the first one looks like this. And then elbow comes out high here and high, okay? And those are the three exercises. We'll take off with that first one. We're working on our balance. Start tapping forward side and backwards. We'll start so tapping forward to the side and backwards. And it's okay if I need to bring my foot down in between, as long as you're feeling challenged. We can take our hand away, we can take our hand away. Halfway finish.
in less than seconds. Good. And we have our jabs with our crunches. We take off in 10 seconds. So four and four. One, and two, three, four. Bring it to my chest and crunch. Two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Good. And last one, we'll do our rows. In about 10 seconds, we take off. We're halfway there. Um, ten more seconds. Good. And we're going to start up at the top. We'll do the opposite side leg and arm. So opposite side leg for standing balance. We take off in about 10 seconds. Good, Nothing forward, to the side and backwards. Good, more than halfway there. Last 10. One. And on jabs and crunches coming up next. So four and four. 
We take off in 10 seconds. Boom, starting. Uh, halfway there. Uh, plus ten. Good. And last one. We'll do our rows. So alternating in between that mid and high row. And just like with the single leg balance, we're going to switch sides. So take off in like five. Pulling up and pulling high. We're halfway there. In less ten seconds. Good. All right. Good job, everyone. So that's the second circuit. Go ahead and get a drink of water. Um, and we will do, we'll end with the power series. So we'll do them first in uh, repetitions, and then we'll switch to that power flow. Um, today, the position is going to be in that prone position, which means lying on your belly. As always, you have the option to do it in the seated or standing position. Seated position, we go over most of those in the um, warm up as well. So those be, should be fairly familiar for you. We'll review them one time. Okay. So I'm gonna go over the that laying down position for first. So in that prone position on our belly, it's a good position for us to be in because um, typically patients with Parkinson's are more uh, in that rounded C position in their spine. So when we lay on the floor, that gets us out of that positioning and it stretches those muscles on the front part of our body that are typically pretty tight. And it uses challenges, those extensor muscles on the back part of our body. So when we do our power up, we're gonna start with our elbows wide out to the side, and then we'll prop them up underneath us. So that power up move, down on our belly, elbows are wide, and we come with the elbows close into the body. So that is our power up. When we do our power rock, we're gonna stay up onto our elbows. Again, rocking our body, shifting our weight across. So we're reaching at a diagonal towards those corners of the mat, okay? 
We'll do 10 of each um, for the power up, we'll do 10 for the other ones. We'll rotate from side to side to make it 10. When we're doing our power twists, we are, we're going to roll onto our side and we do this by threading the needle um, in between. So threading our arm in between that space that's created by our opposite arm and our body. So with my left arm, I'm going to bring it through that hole on my right side. I roll over onto my side, open, this, and then coming back into that starting position, opposite side threads. I roll onto my side, open, whips. Again, we'll alternate until we get to the 10. The last one is gonna be our power step. So with this one, I'm just doing a side bend with my body, with my trunk. So I'm gonna bring one arm out to the side and bend, back to that center position. Opposite side comes out and bends. And we'll do 10 total there. In the seated position, so just as we did for our warm ups, we have that power up, power up, power twist. So our power up, coming down, open, power twist. I'm sorry, power up, power rock. And then power twist, up wide, twisting, and opening. And then our power step. So if we're going to do it in that seated position. Otherwise, you can join me on the ground. And we'll do 10 repetitions. So we'll start with that power up, lying down, coming up, that's one, and down, up, two, and down, up, three, and down, up, four, and down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next we'll go into our power rocks. So we're going to rock from side to side. We're going to alternate till we get to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Uh, next, we'll come um, into our power twist. So we're going to do threading the needle through one side, turning onto our side, open, twist, is one, open, two, And open three open four open five and open Six. Open. Seven. And open. Eight. And open. Nine. And open, 10. Good. Um, the last one that we'll do is that power step. And we'll alternate until we get to 10. So we're going to step out to the right, together, left, 
That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay, the last one that we're doing, we'll do is the power series. So with the power series, with the flow, we're going to link them together in succession. So we'll go straight um, through each of the four steps, starting with that power up into the rock, into the twist, into the step. So we'll do right and left for those ones that alternate, and we'll do eight total reps of this. All right. We're laying on our stomach, starting with that power up, power up into our power rock, center, rock, center, going into our power twist. So opening up to one side and then twisting into that opposite direction. and stepping. So stepping out to the right and out to the left. Good, and that's one. And we'll do seven more. Power up into our rock, center, rock, center, twisting, open, twist, and opposite side, open, twist, and then up for our step, together, step, together, that's two, and power up, good, and rock, center, rock, center, heading into our twist, and open, twist, and opposite side, Open, twist, good, and step, together, step, together, that's three, coming down, and power up, and rock, center, rock, center, into our twist, open, and opposite side, open, twist, and stepping out, back in, out, back in, that's four, coming down, power up, good, and rock, center, rock, center, and twisting open, and back, Opposite side, twisting, open, good, and step, together, step, together. That's five, three more. Down, power up, good, and rock, center, rock, center, twisting, open, Good, and other side, everybody's doing so good. Open, good, and rocking out to that step, and step, and two more coming down, power up, and rock, rock, good, and twist, open, and opposite side, open, good, and stepping out, together, out, together, last one, down, power up, good, rock, together, rock, together, and going into our twists, 
Pull on the opposite side. Good. And last one, stepping out, in, out, in. All right. Good. And coming all the way up. And we'll do some exercises for our cool downs and stretches. If you want to, go ahead and grab a drink. Okay, we'll go ahead and sit down. Um, we're going to stretch those muscles on the top of our shoulder first. So we're going to bring our right ear towards our right shoulder. We're going to um, take our left hand and anchor it underneath our chair um, so that that muscle is elongated and our shoulder is not shrugging up on us. If you want to, you can give a little bit of overpressure with that same side hand. So when you do your stretches, they shouldn't feel painful. But it should feel like a good moderate stretch. Good. And we'll switch to that other side. Now my left ear is going to come towards my left shoulder. My right hand is going to be anchored down onto my chair. And if I'd like, I can give some overpressure. Good. Uh, next, we're going to stretch that muscle that runs from the tip of our shoulder blade to the base of our head. With this one, almost as if I'm trying to put my arm or my nose into my armpit, I'm going to bring the head down and rotate it towards one side. That same opposite shoulder is going to be anchored just, just like we did in that first one. And I can give some overpressure with the same side if needed. Good. We'll go to the opposite side, bringing the head down, rotating. Good. Uh, next, we're going to go into a field goal position. We're going to bring the arms down and then back up. And we'll do five here. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And next, we're going to bring the arms up overhead. And then we'll pull them down into a W and we'll do five here. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Uh, next, we're going to get a trunk uh, stretch. So um, I'm going to take my left hand and I'll bring it over to my right knee. My opposite hand is going to come onto the chair and I'm just going to give a gentle twist. And we'll hold here.
We'll come to the opposite side. Good. So now my right hand is going to come to my right or my left thigh. My other hand's going to come to my chair. I'm going to give a gentle twist here. Good. Next, stretching out the back of the shoulders. I'm going to bring one arm across my body. I'll hug it in with my opposite, and we'll do some wrist circles. And then reversing. and then the opposite side. Good, and reversing that circle. And now stretching the muscles in the back of our thigh. We'll bring one leg out all the way straight. We're going to bend forward towards our toes so that we feel that stretch in the back of our thigh. And we'll switch sides. Uh, and then standing up tall, we're going to hug one leg into our chest. And again, we can always bring it behind our knee. If it causes knee pain, to bring it, hug it in in this position. And we'll do ankle circles. And then reversing those circles. and opposite side. Good, and reversing. Then the last one that we'll do, um, that butterfly stretch. So sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna interlock our hands. We'll bring it to the back of our head. Um, when we work around the spine, bringing the elbows in together, rounding the spine one vertebrae at a time. 
And then sitting up nice and tall, we want to draw those elbows apart so that we feel that stretch in the front of our chest at the top. And we'll do five here. So grounding. And then sitting up. One. And coming back down. Two, three, four, and five. All right, well, that is all I have for you guys today. And thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hopefully you have a good week.